Good to have you with us tonight. Of course, we are inside Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, USA. And every time I walk through these walls, I can't help but think about Gilbert Melendez and Diego oh. Sanchez going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Back at UFC 166, remember Rogan? Oh, my God! It was the craziest fight. You could not believe what you were watching. These two guys said, this is the night that we make history. We're going to stand on a quarter in the middle of the octagon and let them fly, and that they did. Houston, the Toyota Center, has been home to some of the greatest fights in UFC history. All right, going for the early takedown. He gets it, so no surprise. He wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good... for him moving forward in this he fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. The Predator gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs, the jab goes out, the jab, oh man, look at that, picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to, oh, nice guillotine there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Two minutes to go here in round one. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Under two minutes to go. Able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Francis in Ghana. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. in his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Ground and pound strike is true. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on the border, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, we have arrived at the start of round two. Francis Ngannou versus Daniel Cormier. problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Wild swing there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, that's a good strike there by DC. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. Oh, no. oh that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Ngannou's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Good work from the top here by DC. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Right punches there. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. So two minutes to go here in our second round. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Plus right hand is true. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. The ground and pound has been there all night. The numbers continuing to pile up. 138 total strikes have now landed for you, DC. And unofficially landing with 56% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Quick level change. Oh, he said. went single. Well, Tim here outside just keep off the line. Huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or am no. I ready? 
read my last round. Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Let's go. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Ngana. Oh, this could be a factor. That left eye starting to close up. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Solid strike on the ground. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Lands with the grounded pound here. Working out of the half guard here. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Take a deep breath and relax. This next round, we want to do the same thing. Let's get this fight back down to the ground, and then we're in the girl one. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything in absolute. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. That one landed clean. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting. Oh, good. He's the unofficial numbers now 173 total strikes have connected for daniel Cormier. and in terms of the accuracy oh what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment he deserves this moment go finish this fight oh straight right stuff the takedown no problem well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch land over the top. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nicely done as he gets the double leg takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Strike on the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Francis Ngannou. 
Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. here fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Francis Ngannou. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Cormier. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Cormier. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch. That really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action. If he Ready? wants to get the desired finish. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? He's hurt bad. And now he's got the title. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let's try to establish that jab. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. He's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, news hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh. And oh. Oh. He's out. Holy smokes. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it on the wing tonight, he saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face, you can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man, this is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.